G'day, 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 it's Cloudy here, back again with another Dead by Daylight video. So recently they've added in to the PTB at the moment, the end game collapse, which is essentially something to speed up the end of the game and uh, not allow survivors to bully killers at the end um, by just staying in the match or hiding or whatever. Uh, it also comes with a couple changes to like the killer's ability to open a door and also close the hatch, which stopping hatch standoffs, which is good. But let's uh, try and get into a game and we'll take a look at these changes as I explain them further. Catch you guys. <clears throat> so yeah, this is what we've been dealing with guys. Um, just salty killers that really take like three gems to down me and then they just camp like this, so... Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if we're gonna get to the end game in this one, but we'll see guys, we'll see. Still got Metal and Man up NDS, so... Vroom vroom, yes, let me camp. Oh, it's so much fun. So much fun, guys. This is what you get for being a good player in the buddy, like. A oh, fat face camp. But, unless this guy farms me, looks like we'll be trying again next game. Yep. Alrighty, wish us luck for next game, guys. See you there. <clears throat> you got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Alright. Ah, uh, guess we will play another game, guys. Alrighty guys, um, you don't even understand how many games I've gone into to try and get to the end game. Um, this is the closest one so far. The Jane, or the person named Jane who's playing Laurie has a key. We're, we're hoping that she, she opens the hatch and then the killer goes and closes it so I can show off some end game stuff. But pretty much I'm just going to talk about my thoughts and opinions on end game really quickly. Um, don't want to make this video too long. So, the end game will initiate or begin when the gates are opened. So, not powered, but opened, which the killer or survivor can now open the gates when all the generators are done. Or, yeah, or also if the end game begins. The end game can also begin if the hatch is closed by the killer. The killer just needs to stand on top of the hatch and I think it's click spacebar to close it and then the end game will begin, which the floor goes all red and stuff. Which we're hoping to see soon, um, but yeah, my overall opinions, I don't think it's going to change the game that much. It's designed to, one, stop hatch standoffs with the hatch closing thing, and two, stop survivors from just staying in the game and, uh, making the killer find them. Or, like, taking ages to just, like, mess around and do nothing. So I think that the changes aren't too bad. Oh, the Jane got found. Uh, the other way this can work is if the Jane gets killed, and then, um... Yeah, okay, there we go. Hopefully the killer will close the hatch, and the... Here we go! Alrighty, finally, guys! You don't understand how happy I am to finally see... See this, and be able to record it for you guys. So this is the end game. The bar at the top is a three-minute timer, I believe, and when it fully times out, which we'll try and do, uh, you just die by the entity. Um... But the floor goes red. Uh, a lot of uh, actions you get a lot more score for in the end game. Um, what else can I tell you? There's like some legion changes and a bunch of stuff, but that's not really to do with the end game collapse. Um, but yeah, overall, my opinions are like it looks cool aesthetically. It's cool and it adds something new to the game, but it's not going to make that big of a difference uh, because they changed a lot of things with like end game killers like pig to make it not as strong. As you can see just there, each quarter you get another sound notification telling you that another quarter's up. The timer will also go slower when people are on hooks or in the dying state. Um, yeah, I don't know. The hatch can only be reopened with a key once it's closed by the killer, like he did there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't have too much to t tell you guys. It's just uh, a new aesthetic and it's not going to change too much about the endgame just means survivors will have to work a little bit faster. To be honest, I think it should be two minutes, not three. Three minutes is a bit long. Um, but yeah, we're just going to wait out the rest of the game, guys, um, and walk around the map a bit. I'll probably speed this up, 
and then you can see the dying animation at the end. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. See ya. Oh, guys, another really quick thing I forgot to add. Once the end game begins, all the generators that were, like, not done get blocked off by the entity, just like uh, Corrupt Intervention, and they'll no longer be able to be worked on as well. Just to add that there. But we're getting close to the, the final stages. Look how red the floor is. I think this actually looks sick. They did a really, really, really good job with this. But, yeah, you can see it's, like, getting louder, and we know that it's getting closer to dying. Um... I don't know where I want to die, you know. <laughs> Gotta pick a spot to die by the entity. I might just run over here. Maybe in a locker or something. Might be cool because it forces you out of the locker. I'll quickly show you that, guys. Oh! Okay. Hey, we've got a pretty good death scene anyway. Look at this. In front of all the lockers, the entity stabs you in the head, as you see right there. And you count as a normal sacrifice kill for the killer. But... Like I said previously, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It took me a long time to get a game to finally get there because of the matchmaking and some of the survivors we were getting were not the best. But hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next video. Catch you guys. Yeah.